Hello, this is Not a Spring Chick, and the big news today is that asteroids are getting ready to hit the Earth. Now, doesn't that sound like something out of a science fiction movie? No, actually, this is news, real news that's coming through to us. Hmm, interesting. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you know, because the Democrats are basically getting ready to vote on a bill that will raise everybody's taxes in a country that owns a small business. And uh, they may not even be able to get enough members of the Senate to, to support Obama's bill to raise taxes on everybody that owns a business. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're going to have a second bill which they think will pass, but Harry Reid will never allow it to be voted on if he thinks it can pass. Mm -hmm. Because if it can pass, then they can get it through the House and reconciliation only takes um, uh, a simple majority. So uh, if, they're ba if they badly lose one, the second one will never see the light of day. But that's the reason why the Republicans uh, can't do anything like they pointed out yesterday. Yesterday, housing sales were unbelievably high. Hey, housing. Okay, we, we've been facetious at the beginning about the asteroid hitting the Earth because nothing but bad news today and the market rose on bad news. So that's what they say. Well, you know, that the asteroid hits Earth, Earth to be destroyed completely tomorrow, obliterating all life, market hits new time highs on the good news. Mm. Yeah, there's no news, there's no business tomorrow. And stolen valor, Obama vows to fight contemptible lies with website hat to wear... Uh, what? Obama vows to fight contemptible lies with website hat to wear all, a matter of money at Olympics. Yeah, oh, I, I know, that makes no sense to me either. Huh. I think. Uh, okay, I think what it meant, what they did was compose two things together. One of them was Obama has decided that a man that hates the military as much as he does is going to stand and start help the military. You know, um, I, I'm going to explain something to the President of the United States. My father said that when he was in the military, he never saw a soldier that didn't have an arm full of medals. Mm -hmm. He said some, some soldiers in, that were in World War II looked like and they said they looked like Russian privates. There were so many medals. Most people never win medals. I actually found a medal I actually got. Mm -hmm. I, I have a Native American medal coming to me. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but because, <laughs> I'm, because my grandparents, my mother and my grandparents on both sides of the family are Indians, I actually qualify as a Native. That would give me a total of how many medals? <laughs> Quitting smoking adds even more pounds than thought, the study. It always adds weight. I mean, the, the smoking going through the system acts as a, as an inhibitor to gaining weight. Oh, does you know? it? Yeah, and it's you know, and it, it, it causes. It, okay, put it this way: it causes lung cancer in some people and not lung cancer in others. No one can ever figure out why some people get cancer, others don't. But the the whole thing is, is that I mean, I, I knew James Garner. James Garner for James Garner and. Um, and James Arness put like about 80, 90 pounds on when they stopped smoking and they had to go start smoking again in order to get the weight back off because it got basically this is Is it something that's in the smoke or is it because it you're is, not eating because no, you're smoking? Something in the smoke, something in the smoke that you're inhaling acts as an anti-eating thing because you don't eat as much food if you're smoking in there and it also burns your weight off faster. Somewhere in that mess is a, is a great weight reduction thing if they can just figure it so it won't kill you. Well, and it's, it's cigarette smokes because you do see fat cigar smokers, but you don't see fat cigarette smokers. Because, because if you have cigars, you don't inhale. Oh, is that People will inhale smoke you know, cigarettes, but they basically, with cigars, just you know, I, mean, mm -hmm. I got a cigar the other day that I know is an organic cigar and it basically is made to burn real quick because generally with my good cigars I can walk totally around the area I'm at and I only, I, I get about maybe two inches. I went through half of the cigar in six blocks. Oh. So it really, you know, organic. It also tastes like shoe leather. And Democrats are going to try and push through gun control measures. I know. Well, because we have to do it because they're shouting for it. Well, gun sales are at record high in Colorado now because they're, why? Because they're afraid of the President of the United States and the Democratic Party because this is what one of them said. If need be, we need to send the military into homes to take the guns out. Mm -hmm. And and I mean, a lot of people, like they asked me, I had, one, I had a, a black actor talking to Bill, Bill, one of the news people. He said, uh, he said, uh, 
I, I wouldn't want to be the police officer that goes into a home and tells a person, you know that, you, that when you registered that gun that they said that you should register, you also had to register all the other weapons you have on the premises at the same time. And we want all, we want the 22, we want this, we want that, we want your hunting rifles. It isn't one gun they want to register, it's every gun. All of them? You go register. Does that mean BB guns too? Any weapon that they consider Ooh. lethal. And a BB gun, air pistols would be included in that. And, a, and you can pump up a BB gun to where you can shoot a hole in a wall. Ooh. And Congress can't resist the lure of a presidential race. Yeah, because it means that they, they, uh, they know that if he's a lame duck, they're going to spend money like you can't believe. And they know that if he wins the re-election, they're going to spend money like you can't believe when he's re-elected. So they, both parties know that it leads to, uh, the election for about a half a year leads to god-awful amounts of spending after the election. And Democrats on gun control spin yet again. Yeah, they've been told that Democratic Party leaders I mean, the real leaders, not Obama and them, say, don't bring up gun control. It is a stupid thing to bring up right now because it is a losing issue. But you see the Democrat, you know, the like actors, you know, that, that we certainly hope that the gun loving sons of bitches in this country get their damn heads blown off by people like Holmes. I love that. And they're allowing that to be put on Twitter and Facebook, um, hoping that people get killed. You know, they said, I love another one, that when. You know, when, you have to remember when they get rid of all the, uh, when the homophobes and the racists get rid of all of the uh, minorities and the gay people in this country, then they'll have no one else to slaughter. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm waiting for the day that that happens. That's, that's being said on Twitter, folks. Ooh. Really, okay, here's the thing, a real big deal. My grandmother used to say that, that who is the biggest hater? The person that hates or the person that accuses everyone that they see of being a hater. Ooh. And Democrats on gun control, oh wait, asteroid, to, that's not what we are talking about, asteroid to hit the earth, destroying all life market rises on the bad news. That, that's, that, that's a standard Wall Street joke when the market goes up, when the market should be going down. That, you know, they always say that, well, at the news today, asteroid hit the planet tomorrow, Wall Street hits a new high on all the good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nobody to buy it. No one to live tomorrow. So you, what are you spending for today, folks? And spin meter, middle class turns fuzzy in politics. Uh, okay, true people that should be supporting Obama are not supporting Obama because it's about the economy. Remember, Bill Clinton is about the economy, stupid, because Obama wants to do everything but the economy. But how do you tell a person is? Okay, there's like 250,000 United Auto Workers lost their jobs because of this man. Mm -hmm. And then he outsources their jobs right and left and says, I'm not an outsourcer of jobs. Mm -hmm. And Romney, um, Obama focuses on his job, not unemployment. Yeah. Obama. Well, yeah, he's been doing that for a while. Did anybody notice that? Yeah, he doesn't care about the unemployment figure. He actually came out yesterday. He said, unemployment is now, uh, unemployment has leveled out and it is now falling. Not that anybody can see it, has it? Mm -hmm. And Congress can't resist the lure of presidential race. You know she like that one. Oh well, that's it's that's what it says. I know. And UK's Cameron says time for regime change in Syria and UN action. It's not the UN is not going to do anything because we're going to, as I keep saying, go look at the tales of the Arabian Nights. He who controls Damascus controls the gateway to the Middle East. The Syrian army controls Damascus and are not likely to lose Damascus. And the Russians and the Chinese, who need to bring things in through a god awful deep water port, need Damascus. So, guess who they're going to support? Mm -hmm. And Obama says it's no big deal on his speech that only government can create jobs and wealth. I know. But the problem is, they ask it to him at every place he goes, and he's losing his temper about it. I was misquoted. Well, no, you said exactly this. Well, they took it out of context. No, you said exactly this. Well, I meant that you can't, you know, you have to get an education. My father didn't go to school. Well, I meant that you had to, build, you know, use government for roads. I, my father built the money he made and without government roads. Well, the government supplied the power. Uh, we didn't have power. Mm -hmm. He hates those things because the American success story is doing it on your own without government help. And he knows it because Horatio Alger, folks, 
you know, uh, or go west, young man. Anybody can be. Anybody can make your fortune without doing this. And how many times has government interfered in people's lives and cost them their businesses? Mm -hmm. Cash strap Berlin stock by 540 year old debt. Yeah. 540 year old debt. Uh, reparations. Reparations never go away. And Germany got lots of reparations. Oh, that's true. And a Monty bubble is up to the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, basically, sometimes good things do happen in small packages, but not really often.